Ostraka, in plural, ostrakon, in singular, is a Greek word. It's a very interesting word in many, sense, in many senses. One of them is that it is a, a, a word universally accepted to describe these pieces of a pottery recycled in ancient times to, to write, to draw, and, and to, to, uh, to be used as, as, as notepads. And it is incredible that we can, we can think, uh, we, we may say now to, to, they were used to, to write text messages. Yeah. <laughs> no? They have the, the, the text messages of, of antiquity. You know, that's one way we can, we can think about, about um, them. This is a letter. This Ostraka we have here is a letter. If you look in the internet, you, you are going to find a lot of examples of Ostraka, but only a few have either a transcription and a translation. And I found this one, and I have the translation. And um, it has to do with wine and bread. So somebody is writing this, this letter to Eliashib, telling him what he needs to do with, with the wine and with the bread. It seems that we are talking about people that were you know, making, making wine, making bread, dealing with, with uh, these uh, products. This is an ostracon showing uh, what is believed to be, uh, what are believed to be drawings made by a child. And of course, in order to, to write, you need at least a basic education, and sometimes a lot of education, but not, not to draw. And this is, this is a very good example. This is the other, the other yes. Science. Um, we have one example from um, architecture and another example connected with geometry. This one is very interesting because it's, it is a hybrid. So there are some some uh, written text, written ostraka, some with drawings, but also we have this hybrid ostraka showing both text and drawings. And this this is this is a good a good example. In the end, we are talking about human experience, mostly daily human experience. And somehow, through these writings, we feel this connection with that person, with that child, with that woman. Although we need to use our imagination, of course. But we can feel that connection with that life at that time, thousands of years ago.